would you believe this is the first Guy Ritchie movie I ever saw? And it's one of my favorites. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Rock and Roll. The film that I have embedded the soundtrack into my mind, and this was my first experience of seeing a Guy Ritchie movie. I would later go on to watch his other films, Snatch, Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels, the Sherlock Holmes movies. But really, this is a Guy Ritchie movie. Some people would say that he's kind of made the same movie multiple times, and there is some obvious structure similarities to Lockstock, Snatch, Rock and Rolla, The Gentleman. But I liked Rock and Rolla for a couple of reasons. One being Tom Wilkinson's fantastic performance. Yeah, yeah, I've took it off the easel and uh, I'll put it on the wall. Yeah, it looks like... Archie, I've been... As Lenny Cole. I love Tom in this movie. He's a bastard, but he delivers his lines so well to the point where one of my favorite lines in film still is... Think before you drink before you drive me mad. I laughed so hard watching this movie in theaters. I remember it still to this day. The second part is Mark Strong's performance as Archie. I loved his performance in this movie, thought he was great. He also has another fantastic line about taking someone to school with a slap. Like this. Now, if you can master a slap like that, there's no need for your clients to walk back. They will open up like a fountain full of words. They're transported back to their childhood. Look. Thinks he's back at school. He never went to school though, Arch. And then finally, Toby Kebbell. Toby Kebbell's so fucking good in this movie. There are two monologues in this movie about drug use. One being from a character called Cookie, and then another one from Toby while he's playing the piano talking about cigarettes. And both of them are so good. It's a terrible sight. Horrible sound listening to a man sucking his soul through the hole. And Toby's just a fantastic performer in this movie, really delving into a drug addict. A subtle suggestion that cigarettes are indeed your royal and loyal friend. And that, Pete, is a lie. That that starts sweet ends bitter. And that which starts bitter ends sweet. That is why you and I love the drugs. But also being a swarmy little asshole. I love how this film is about gangsters, but not about gangsters. It's about people trying to get one up on another. It's about criminals being criminals to criminals. And how even the most seemingly useless people in life can sometimes be your undoing. There's also a few people in this movie that were still kind of coming up in their ranks. Tom Hardy, a very young Tom Hardy's in this movie. We got Gerard Butler just off of the hype of 300. Idris Elba's in this movie. He does a fantastic job. Oh, there's a lot of big names in this movie if you were to look at it now. And it's kind of bonkers just how big this cast is. There's also some good action sequences in this movie. You've got a great heist sequence with Gerard Butler's crew that's both pretty intense as well as fucking hilarious. You've got absolutely snappy dialogue, as always, from Guy Ritchie. You've got great performances, some really good style. It's something that he would always improve upon after Lockstock is that his style got more and more subverse, a lot more pleasing to the eye, and just really engaging. There is one major kind of complaint I do have about this movie, is how it ends. It definitely wraps itself up way too conveniently. I do like how the movie comes to its end, but I do feel that the main twist, specifically with Tom Wilkinson's character, really kind of comes out of left field. They hint at it ever so slightly twice, and then all of a sudden, you're given literally buckets of exposition to make that twist make sense at the end. It's not displeasing, I just feel like it's a bit lazy and it kind of feels like there should have been a little bit more to earn towards it. And then it just kind of conveniently comes to an end. And also, if there is something that I can have, this is not a complaint about the movie, it's more so just the ever growing well of disappointment I have with each passing day is that they said there were gonna be a sequel and this movie made no money 
and they never got a sequel. Guy said that he's wanting to do it, but this movie came out in 2008, and for some reason The Gentleman did better than this one did, even though I feel that this is much better than The Gentleman, but regardless. I like Rock and Rolla. It was a fantastic introduction to Guy Ritchie, and I'm very happy that I went on to watch more of his movies. Maybe there are some things that have not aged the best. Mar Gerard Butler's homophobia to Handsome Bob like has some really funny lines, but it's a little bit strong, perhaps. But otherwise, I still really enjoy this movie. So in the end, I'm going to give Rock and Rolla a 5 out of 7. Watching this again got my wife and I on a track, and we're starting to watch other Guy Ritchie movies again. We just watched Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and I'm going to show her Snatch for the first time very soon. Be expecting those reviews in the coming weeks. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about this movie. Very curious to see what you guys have to say. What do you guys think about this film? What do you guys think about Guy Ritchie as a director himself? And what do you feel about that comment that when he makes movies like this, it's the same kind of Guy Ritchie movie? Curious to see what you have to say. Otherwise, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.